Hello buddies, welcome back to another important Smart India Hackathon video and yes, finally the results are out now and the evaluation process was quite lengthy. First of all, all the best to everyone who have made it to the finals. Let us uh, talk about numbers now. 75,000 plus submissions of idea overall including all the problem statements and tactically if you see if each problem statement is getting 5 finalists, that is not mandatory but if that's the case, 1300 finalists teams or ideas will be shortlisted overall. If you are among that, hats off to you. And this video is specifically not about the ones who have made it to the finals. It is for the one who couldn't make it through. And for the people who have gone into the finals, you may know what you have done better. So in this video, we are going to talk about the key mistakes which I analyzed or which I saw when I evaluated three to four problem statements and overall around 250 ideas. So in this Smart India Hackathon 2025, one thing which I noted was I didn't have to take a harsh step for eliminating teams because they themselves took their steps of elimination. Okay. So I'm going to point out the five key mistakes I noted overall. Okay. The first thing is modifying the complete PPT template. There were multiple teams who had submitted slides which had over six slides as per the regulation, you know, six is a fixed slide. One guy submitted for 22 slides while I saw that I was stunned. So breaking the initial rule or the regulation itself can cause an elimination and that happened in my case when I was evaluating. So first major mistake is modifying the template, trying to add a lot of slides which comes as a pure backfiring situation. The second major problem which I noted which was the reason of around 50% of teams getting eliminated under my evaluation and hopefully amongst most of the evaluators is too much clumsy. Okay, you're trying to add a lot of data, dumping a lot of data. That's not even a little bit white space. And there are around 50 plus slides in that scenario. You're trying to convey one thing. You're not able to convey that too much of clumsy data. You are unable to understand what's important. And that itself is an elimination scenario. When you're not able to convey what you wanted to convey. Right, because an evaluator barely can spend three to five minutes on your PPT. And having it that level of clumsy will be a scenario of direct elimination. The third major reason for elimination for most of the teams was trying to dump a lot of features which makes the evaluator forget what's your core solution. Okay, So as I already said in my earlier videos, when you are going for a problem and you're going to solve a problem, first you have to solve the core of the problem and then put on a lot of add-on features. Okay, In my case, when I saw around 30 to 40 PPTs, they had a lot of extreme features which was not even relevant for their problem statement. And and that itself blocks the passage for the evaluator to understand what's your core solution. Okay, so trying to overload with features is itself a backfiring scenario. This is the third major reason for elimination. The fourth reason for elimination, I may not call it a major reason for elimination, but that is one scenario which can reduce the evaluator's understanding of your problem statement. That is missing flow diagram. Okay, as you know, the technical approach slide or the working prototype slide is dedicated for you to give an architecture diagram or a flow diagram that can explain the whole process. Okay, but to be honest, out of the 257 slides which I evaluated, around 120 slides didn't have a flow diagram. I was stunned seeing that. To be honest, I was very much stunned. Okay, that itself makes you to lose half of the points for that dedicated slide. Right. So why I'm saying this again is next time when you're participating in Smart India Hackathon or any other hackathon, make sure to have an architecture or flow diagram that is the heart of your PPT. OK, let's come to the final point. I won't directly call it as a point of elimination, but I can call it as an advantage point for the winners. OK, let's assume that around from the 257 ideas I've evaluated, five teams are getting into the finals. Each of the team had a stunning demo video. Okay, and as I already said, demo video doesn't have a separate evaluation criteria, but that can give a huge add on for an evaluator to understand your problem statement. Okay, so with all these scenarios coming together, every of these five points, when you see it as a checklist, all the winner teams or the teams that gets into the finals would have had that. As you all know already about the evaluation criteria, starting from your novelty, what is your appropriateness, what is your technical approach, your feasibility, sustainability, all these are the major evaluation criteria. And it's important to fulfill each of the evaluation criteria. And for that, your slides are the backbone. The demo video which you're attaching is a backbone. And one problem with this year's SIH portal, which I noted was, no matter what additional documents you would have submitted, 
that portal was not even visible for an evaluator. I tried to connect with multiple SH evaluators where I also came to understand that this was an issue where most of them were facing where the additional document if you had submitted maybe a business model document or your detailed research document it wouldn't have been visible. It's kind of a flaw from an SIH portal ways but that won't be a huge influence in your evaluation because the demo video and the PPT plays the game changing role here. Okay. So for the teams who couldn't make it to the finals I understand you would have put your hard work your effort sleepless nights and everything into it so my key advice to you is don't quit okay you may feel that man i've given a lot of efforts it's, it's not going getting worth it i think i'm not worth of it nothing like that okay i myself lost my first three hackathons as a leader try to understand what are the mistakes you have done okay from that you can learn what you can do better okay now i have said the five key mistakes right try to analyze your ppt yourself try to analyze the structure of your demo video try to analyze what would have gone wrong for you that itself will teach you what you can do better okay and participate in the lot of hackathons sih is not the only hackathon okay so if you check the description i've given a list of upcoming 100 plus hackathons across india and across the globe which can be remote which can be in person make sure to check it okay and if you feel that you need something that can be a huge boost for you from all my experience, after mentoring 1500 plus teams, judging and mentoring around 80 plus hackathons across India, all our knowledge is incorporated in this one ebook which you are seeing in this frame. Starting from problem statement selection, team formation, your checklist, your MVP development, AI tools, every single thing is in detail in this one ebook. If you want to avail it, make sure to check the description or click the link above. It will take you to the ebook. And one benchmark which I want to share to all of you is that our mentorship, the webinar which we conducted, everything happened on the top mate platform. And this September month, we stormed into the global top 0.1 percentage creators from around 100k plus creators worldwide. And because of our our quick benchmark and we had around 100 plus 5 star ratings we stormed into the Times Square billboard New York and it's a benchmark which feels very personal just because it all started with hackathons and yes no matter what don't even think about quitting start participating in a lot of hackathons gain a lot of experience learn a lot of stuff it will elevate your career to the next level in the upcoming video we'll be talking about the finale strategies of smart india hackathon how many rounds they have what you can do for each round what strategy you have to incorporate for each round what kind of product you have to build what kind of modules every single thing we are going to talk in the upcoming video and if you feel that you need a prototype uh, strategical kind of stuff make sure to check out our prototype mentorship sessions this is going to be only for 10 teams i'm going to take up and and it's going to be a one hour session where we'll be talking in detail about your prototype structure. It can be technically, it can be a business level. We are going to cover all of that. Okay. And don't forget to subscribe to Code Academy. Until next time, signing off, Gamaliel Das.